welcome back. Thank you for watching my art channel. I'm going to do a swipe painting today using some leftover paints that I have. I've got gold, copper, and light blue. So let's get started. And I decided to talk you through this one instead of putting on only music. So please let me know in the comments if that's helpful for you. All the colors except the white are acrylic paint mixed with pouring medium and water. And here's the consistency of my paint. Hopefully you can see it, how the drizzled paint stays visible on the surface for just a second and then disappears. I'm drizzling from about one inch over the paint. So now I'm gonna lay my colors down. I'll start with the copper. And the gold. And the light blue. And now I'll pour my white paint that is mixed with Australian Floetrol onto this palette knife. I let the excess paint drip off, but still leave a good coat of it. You want to make sure that you have enough of it on there. Okay, I'm going to swipe across. You don't have to press down too hard. Just gliding the palette knife across the surface at a very slight angle. And you want to go slow to give the lacing a chance to develop. Okay, looks good. I needed a longer canvas, I lost the blue. I'm gonna add some more black paint. I think I'm gonna swipe one more time and get more blue in it. Start with the copper again. And then the gold. And extra light blue to make sure it really shows up this time. A little more. Get my palette knife ready to do one more swipe. Okay, same as before, and I'm going to overlap right here over the first one and bring them together. Oh, that's pretty. So now I like to step back and see what I can make look a little more interesting. This is probably going to go over the side, but just in case. Any type of blob or uh, block of color or area that you that you don't like, you want to try to deal with it now while it's small because it'll only get bigger and harder to fix after you stretch it. I think that's good. Torch for air bubbles. And I'm gonna stretch it. I'll start in this corner. It's definitely gonna go over the side, but that's okay. I figured that would happen. Bring the weight of the paint back down towards the center first and then over to this corner so I don't lose too much of my design. Bring the paint back down to the other end of the canvas. And towards this corner.
I'm deciding how much I want to tilt. Hold on, I think I'm gonna stop and add more black paint. I want negative space in this corner. So I'll just add that in right now and I can fix it later if it needs it. I like it, I think I'm gonna stop and touch up my sides now. I'm just taking it from the table and tapping it onto the canvas and torch one more time. You can see the air bubbles popping on that one. All right, I'll show you a close up. And I ended up tilting a little more of that corner off, but I really like it. And I'll show you the dried result. Okay, so here it is this way. Or I like it this way too. I can't decide. Let me know which way you guys like it better. Maybe this way. It looks like wind circling upwards. Love that part. Yep, I love it. It's really pretty. Look at the metallic shine. All right, well, I hope you like the painting and I hope the tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching.